Let me get a little bit situated here. Let me shrink down a little bit. Alright. I'm liking the water physics. Um, gang seems a little bit loud. I don't have a 144 monitor. You will get on 60, dang it. Don't you do this to me. Can I type it? No. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, a game that doesn't let you mess with, uh, like, type in the number, evil. We're going all dressed up and dapper. Well, we're going swimming! I decided to keep my, my witchy hat. Uh, it now has a blue ribbon for water, which I think keeps it from being washed away. I think that makes it water immune. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <laughs> well, welcome on by, Iris. I hope you're having a great day. A great day to round out the weekend. All right, um, how does the audio, the audio bar looks fine, but let me know if it's still a little bit loud and I can tune it a little bit more, let me move my model a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right, so I'm ready for our nice, comfy beach vacation where nothing goes wrong. And, you know, we're just going to go on this planet for a nice little swim. Uh, hmm. I don't like the sound of survival. Let's try survival. Um, I think I think we're having some difficulties on our ship. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Glad to catch this with Yeah. I've certainly heard good things about it, and after. After Outlast, I don't want to do anything specifically scary. Uh, it didn't emotionally overwhelm me in the game, but like, like simmering with the game afterwards, kind of, kind of killed my energy for any further like real scary games, <laughs> at least for a while. Uh oh. Oh no! My beach vacation, no! Alright. Now, nobody can prove it was me who destroyed the ship. to the face. See, you don't have loose things in your escape hatch. Release me! Alright. Uh, oh, this, this music is a bop. Alright, so we can pick up the extinguisher. Alright, right click to use. <coughs> All right. We have a touch screen. Yeah, I thought I was relaxing. I've been fooled. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered <laughs> an optimal outcome. This, this is PDA awful. has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. 
Good luck. Yeah, now with this head trauma, maybe you'll uh, think better. All right, so tab will open and close that. Good stuff. We have a fire extinguisher. All right, we have a little equipment menu. It looks like we have some electronics we can get. There's probably like an oxygen tank, gloves, armor, goggles, shoes. All right. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, my nice drink is this uh, root beer I've got. Use repair tool. Oh, we need a, f all right, fabricator. Electronics, materials. Interesting. Oh, this is gonna get detailed. So we can just straight up manufacture things we need. Manufacture bleach? Mmm, that's concerning. Disinfected water. Filtered water. Personal. Okay, so we can get... All right, so our equipment stuff is gonna be under personal tools. Um, we do need a repair tool. Hmm. Where's a repair tool? I need a repair tool to even do this. Root beer float. Man, I haven't had a uh, root beer float either in a long while. Uh, nutrients. Nutrient block. Good stuff. Uh, flares. That'll be helpful. Filtered water. All right. Uh, water does help. What happened to the beach? Um, we had a minor inconvenience. Um, I may have, uh, had one too many Mai Tais, and I may have broken into the reactor core. You know, it may have talked a little bit of shit to me, and, and I thought I would teach it a lesson, so I turned it off, and the shit may have not liked me doing that. <laughs> All right. So I need to get a repair tool, but I don't have the resources for a repair tool. All right, game. What do you what do you want me to do here, my butt, my friend? False advertising. No, I swear it'll be comfy. We just gotta we just gotta get out of here. I'm sure it'll be fine. But needs rubber, sulfur, titanium. Titanium, rubber. Can I... All right, how do I unequip this thing? Hey, Iris, thanks for resnug scribing. I always appreciate it. It's always nice seeing uh, familiar faces. All right, maybe I, maybe I just straight up climb out. Health mania. Mm. Cause unknown. Oh, good. It Zero doesn't human life signs detected. All right, but what what about the robo signs? All right, you know the humans may have not survived, but what about the robots? Also, I feel like it's weird that the ship seems to be floating. They can't prove anything, Dracula. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, the water looks like yeah, it is. You know, we just kind of just kind of chill here. Yes, yeah, this, uh, this is our vacation. We just kind of, just kind of sit here. It's, uh, it's a nice view. Mm -hmm. Brecky, a bleach requires sand. Oh, I see a ship in water. <laughs> Shit, we may have a problem. Yeah, so yeah, I've had a nickel for every time my name in these games. I have two nickels. It's not a lot, but it's weird that's happened twice. <laughs> Alright, so what if I swim? What the fuck? No, fuck off! Fuck off! Stay away! Stay away! Alright, water's haunted. Water's haunted. Ah, shit! It's like party animals all over again. Alright. Um, I don't think the fire extinguisher was very effective. Uh, a friend, I just want to say hi. 
He wasn't bringing the drink. I specifically ordered another Mai Tai. <laughs> now we have Bikini Bottom. All right. How do I... All right, so we have some water. We have some nutrients. We have first aid. What are my controls? Holster is e. Q for deconstruct. <laughs> so if I do E. Alright. Alright, we put this away. My hands are free now. Oh, that fucker's still there. Um break limestone. No, leave me alone! Stay away! Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. <laughs> From unlikely to plausible? Thanks, Robo Helper. Yeah, we need one Krabby Patty. Preferably not made with our body. Writhing weed. Interesting. I'm loving the music. Oh, ah, oh, come on. Don't pee in the ocean, man. It's so rude. Did I catch any fish? Ooh, I'm coming for you. Oh, look at this little fish! What is this fish? Oh, oxygen. Right, I'm drowning. All right, I have acquired a fish. Uh, it looks like a boomerang. Does it act like a boomerang? No, I let go! My fish! Shice! All right, let's try this again. All right, so we have a fish. If I get back in here, how do I deconstruct? Said Q. Can't drop an item. Use storage containers. Food. Small edible prey fish. I see. Alright, so let's store our fish. We have acquired one fish. Great. I think it said Q was deconstruct. The way it swam. Yeah. But maybe for deconstructing, I just like go up to it and I deconstruct. Eat something. No! I don't wanna! Q to deconstruct. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh, we can get some creep vine clusters. Alright. Stay away! Stay away! Shice! Leave me alone! Serpentine! Serpentine! They can't catch me if I go serpentine. Um, we have a night cycle. Oh, look how big that moon is. Ooh, two moons. Alright, I will say definitely out the bat, this game is nailing on the visual and musical front. Oh, that transition to night. <sighs> That's beautiful. Alright, uh, we have a nutrient bar to nibble on. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, so we have some creep vines, indigenous seas, high in silicone, and oil content. Artificial seeds. 
Um. All right, the problem. Basic materials. Right. Okay. Um, so we need to make a repair tool. We need rubber and titanium first off. We can make the rubber. We got that. We still need titanium from Metal Salvage. Noted. It's your favorite game? Ah, welcome on by. I am trying it out for the first time. All right, so we can start making some equipment. I don't know what it means by metal salvage. We haven't found anything like that yet. We need like a whole titanium ingot. Yeah, we need a whole ingot. So we need 10 titanium. So we're gonna need at least three bits of salvage. Um, let's see. All right, so we have a good bit of silicone. We might as well as make some fins since we have extra. Get this a bit of extra movement draws speed. From available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay, so the biggest thing is we still need to find a source of cave sulfur as well. Definitely don't have over 1,000 hours in it. Ah, I imagine she'll like it a little bit. You know, that makes sense. All right, so let's store all of that. Um, we're good on food. So our next major thing, did we automatically equip the fins? Yes, we did. No, put them back on. All right, so we swim faster. Um, metal salvage is likely going to be on our way to the um, crashed ship. Let's see if we can find. Look at the bioluminescence! Ah, there we go. capture the manta ray yet. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven <laughs> survival strategy. Haven't played for a while. Have you gone to the Aurora Red? I, I just started. Yeah. Um, I would say... Uh, uh, let me make my own mistakes. I am decently good at video games. Are we almost at our hotel? Uh, well, uh, maybe, maybe the hotel is over here. We can, uh, find one on the, uh, the ship, maybe? I mean, it's still floating, so, you know, there's gotta be something. Oh, that's kind of creepy. You can just see the whole, whole fish's skeleton like that. Oop, running out of oxygen. It seems this planet has a very short day-night cycle. Increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Look, that engine on this talked a bunch of shit. Unusually distinct and diverse okay. ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Okay, it's not floating, it's resting on like ground. Radiation detected. My question is, is this like immediately kills us? Hmm. 
Have I played before? I have not played this before. Don't fear the reaper. He's always there to do you harm. Something seems weird. There's like a crackling noise. Is that the music or? That's so weird. Um, Alright, so we got some more silica. <gasps> Scrap metal? Scrap metal? Hey! Alright, we got one piece. We need at least two more pieces of scrap metal. <sighs> the little fish was perf. Aww, yeah, he's got a cute little face. He kind of looks like a, uh, 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 um, I forget what they're called. They, they, they swim, like, upside down on the ocean. Or on water. Um... You better keep that hoverfish as a pet since he's a good boy. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of a leopard gecko, honestly, but with like little suction things. <laughs> Certainly currently winning the uh, most interesting finch. What are you? Do I need to move things to inventory? How do I move things off of my hot slot into my inventory? Did I just let go of them? No! Shice. Let me make sure I didn't accidentally let... Okay, no, they're in my inventory. Alright, good. good, good. Alright. Let's keep our hands free. Um, we'll keep the fire extinguisher, because why not? We still need two things of scrap. I saw that cargo container. Can I not open it? Maybe I need something to open it. Alright, there should still be some scrap. The tubes! Oh, and some random limestone. Alright. No, no, you need a... You will need to put out a fire. Yeah! Yeah, you gotta watch out for those underwater fires. What are you? I haven't gotten one of you yet. Get over here. Peeper? Him's definitely got some peeper. <laughs> oh, this music. Acid mushroom. Well, I mean, I guess we need to have some recreational activities uh, now that it's just us on this uh, ocean. Scrap! Yes! Alright. Now we need one scrap and one thing. Oh! That gonna be our third scrap? Hell yes. All right, so I think we have enough scrap for all the titanium. But we need to find sulfur vents. Guess that doesn't count as scrap. Hmm. I mean, while I'm over here, I might as well see if I can grab any other scrap before I head on back. Ah! <laughs> oh, that spooked me. That's a wild sea snake. Yeah. Cave sulfur. Hey. Now we know where we can get some cave sulfur. <laughs> That fish is just like, I'm going to go and explode on you. <laughs> Absolutely silly. Uh, let's head back to our habitation pod, because I think we can make our repair kit now. 
Um, can I grab you? No, I can't. Darn. What about you? What are you? You are shaped funny. Hmm. Crash fish are horrifying. Gave you chest pain IRL because you nearly had a tag. Oh no! I certainly didn't expect this game to have a jump scare. And I figured the only spookiness was going to be thalassophobia kind of stuff. Alright, let's avoid the sawtooth looking guy. Now, if you encounter any serpents in the ocean, you know, crate are cool and all, but they are highly venomous. Um. Just act, be calm, and move slowly, uh, because they do not have good eyesight. And it's actually been found or suspected that one of the reasons why Crate will chase divers is because uh, they mistake divers for really hot, uh, sexy female Crate, because the whole swimming away is what uh, female crates will do, and the males are supposed to catch them. <laughs> so if you just uh, if you just chill, they uh, they'll just let you be. <laughs> All right, we need to drink some Wawa. Vital signs stabilizing. Wait, non-vegetarian filtered water. Did... Did they put meat in my water? I'm so confused. What can I make? Oh, we can make flares. Uh, instead of flares, though, I think I want to make... That repair kit. What's in the water is the real issue here. Yeah. Because I use a fish to make it. Well, I came with that bottle of water. So confused because you're thinking of Wawa. You said water. <laughs> I have been I have been infested with brain warps to, to call it Wawa, which makes it really silly because there's also the uh, the slug cat. Uh, Well, actually, water is very good insulation from radiation. Um, that's why in nuclear power plants, uh, the nuclear rods are actually under a whole fuck ton of water because uh, it helps insulate. And it's actually really cool because uh, looking down in the water tank, um, is it... Is it Cherenkov radiation? There's like this really cool like blue aurora kind of effect you can see from active um, nuclear plants like in the water. All right, so we got the repair tool. Repair my fingy. All right, so. I mean, it depends on what this future tech is. Lightfoot secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Alright, so that was a really good um, tutorial that it did. You know, it has you gather some very basic resources. Uh, you need to learn the crafting system. Um, so far, so good. Can I take these power cells? Hold on, let me get these out of my hot swap real quick. Let's move our repair kit. Actually, let's leave it on five, because I won't use it too much. No, they just are stuck in. Noted. Okay. Um, alright, so we got our databank, alien eggs. 
Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all, of the local species reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the sea floor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into cracks on the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the delivery of some vital enzyme, which will kickstart the process. It's impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior, However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Can we make an omelet out of these eggs? That's, that's the real question. You know, these nutrient bars, you know, they fill you up. They don't really taste so good, but an omelet, now that is a breakfast. All right, so what's our environment scan? Category 3, ocean planet, all right, that means not any oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, good, or else we would have already died. May support Leviathan-class predators. All right, that's not good. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Well, I mean, if it's an alien planet, wouldn't it be just local bacteria? Planet is beyond Federation space, rescue unlikely. Oh, that's great. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. I see. So we're at room service. Um, unfortunately, we only have one room, and it doesn't seem like we get much service in here. Okay, so... Actually, let me see on the crafting list. We don't have any other immediate goals. I think the best thing, a no actually, I might want to make that knife. No, we need a scanner. All right, for a scanner, we need a battery. What do we need to make a battery? I don't want to make a fire extinguisher. Is it under electronics? Battery, all right, so we have acid. Oh, actually, we can make a battery. Acid and copper. Perfect. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Near blueprint acquired. Perfect. This scan can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Perfect. Um, let's see, so... Does this just automatically fabricate? It does. Noted. Alright, so let's, um, get our oxygen before I forget again. Note to self, I probably need to process some more. Um, let's put our... I definitely want to collect one of every fish, because I am a collector like that. I do like that. Um... Let's see. All right, we do have the scanner, so I can do the scanning. We read the diagnostic. So a power cell is our new thing. Collecting big ones. I will definitely try and collect anything I can collect. I, I want to have one of everything. Um, I don't know how far this will... Mobile vehicle bay, waterproof locker, window hatch. All right, so these are some higher level technology. Interior rooms, alien containment. All right, all right. We definitely have an end goal because we gotta. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. We just gotta be able to make glass. Hell yeah! All right, so we have some things we will want to do. But we're at the very beginning of our tech level, so we need to continue discovering. Um, how much more can I fabricate for equipping myself? You know, I have my fins. Um, 
I don't think I made that survival knife. So let's give us a stabber because that sawtooth keeps Weapons chasing us. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> Man, this, uh... <laughs> fucking massacre with simply made weapons, I see. Um, where was... Alright, so we have the fins... Three titanium. So we need a lot more scrap if we're going to be able to make an O2 tank. All right. Let me make sure my inventory is emptied out. Actually, let me process these because they take up a lot of space. Um, I feel like I'm okay on silicone for now. So let's turn the rest into lubricants. Because if I know anything about um, and technology plants. and high tech, uh, we're gonna need lubrication for like ball bearings or things like that. Sorry, we banned all weapons, so here's a weapon. Yeah, how dare they remove the halberds from the fabricators? This is a travesty! I don't like how the lubricant is a piss drop. It kind of is disappointing. Um, let's keep the egg. Um, hopefully nothing jumps out of it and grabs our face. That would be a very awkward thing. Um, actually, what do we need for food and water? Bladder fish or bleach? I don't want to drink bleach. All right, so we can cook basically any of our little guys. All right, so we have one of each of the... No, I need a boomerang. We need to capture a boomerang so I can store it for for the future. But we need bladder fish specifically for water. It's nighttime. Great. Um, actually, did I check the radio? This is a moron. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor I'm sure, for emergency transmission I'm sure that was a stutter. from other life pods. I'm sure that was a stutter, and it, and, it, and it didn't mean, like, you know, the maximum integer, because there's, there's just infinite time that's going to be happening. Wake up, the egg is missing. Reset, set the pot on fire. Problem solved. Yeah, exactly. All right, um, I don't want to waste time. Oh, and it looks like our bladder fish are bioluminescent. That is very good. Is that our boomerang fish? Yes! All right, so we have one for the collection. Um, hold on, let me calculate how long that is. That is definitely a lot of hours. All right, thankfully it looks like bladder fish are very common. I do wonder if there is something I should be worried about when it comes to table coral. Didn't I need that? Oh wait, scanner! Uh, are you gonna do anything, scanner? Oh, right click. So we're learning a little bit more. Oh boy, filling out our known materials. And the question is, is it going to transform some of these into things that I can harvest? Or is this just going to be for an informational thing? We've only been on this planet for at least an hour by now. Yeah, haven't you seen the thing go... Oh, 
Oh, don't fart on me! Oh, that's disgusting! Come on! Alright, let's get some oxygen. Now the question is, is if I... Alright, dude! Ole! Hiya! Hiya! Oh. Huh. Seems just with uh, one stab you've gotten scared. Ow! Oh, are you fucking with me, dude? Oxygen. Hold on, let me scan the stalker. Oh shit, there's so many of them! Shice! Hoop fish! No, you got the hoop fish! I haven't met that one! Wait, um, no, I think I have a hoop fish. Maybe? Alright, so I can cut creeper vine. And I then harvest it. Oh, cutting it puts it in my... Got it. Oh. Continuing to monitor. Oh, a quantum detonation. Oh, that's fine. Will, will it destroy me fluid intake immediately. if I just don't acknowledge it? That's how... I'm pretty sure that's how quantum rules work. Like, if you just don't acknowledge the existence of the quantum situation. Alright, let's make a bunch of water. So they're gonna be here for 11 and a half years before rescue. Yikes! Alright. So this is... I, I've seen... I've seen... Um, uh... No, we don't want to cook the boomerang because... We need it for our collection. Oh, we already have one for the collection. Gary fish. Gary. Um, let's go ahead and drink our Wawa. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Um, oh. Okay, so let's top ourselves off on water, and let's cook this fish. Just so we're all topped up on resources. Consume. Oh, that's health. Use the med pack. Not too good, not too good. So I handle quantum physics every time I <laughs> Twitch just give me 15 ads. Yikes! I don't know, it's the question, like, would you want, um, a couple long ads or many short ads? I mean, either way, veined nettle. Interesting. Blue balm. Blue palm. All right. Oxygen. I don't want oxygen. I just want to swim. All right. I uh, still need to kill one of those um, stalkers just to see what happens. I don't think I finished scanning it either. Fuck oh, you. Get back here. Did it have metal salvage it was carrying around? What the heck? What the heck is the stalker doing? What just happened? I am getting confused by this stalker who had a bit of metal scrap in its mouth. Take that! 
Alright, our knife is not very good at killing these, uh, stalkers. At most, we're just, like, scaring them away. Take this! And some of that! And then I stab them, sir. Thief! They like the shiny. <laughs> As a family to support? What, with metal? Oh, I'm right on his booty! Right on his booty! Ah, gotcha! Alright, alright, I think this one is pretty injured. Maybe we can get this one. beast. Alright. Alright. The beast must be wounded. Hey! That's mine! I mean, thanks for leading me to some scrap, but come on, dude. Another the kelp forest far away, stalker chased it all the way back to spawn and never left. <laughs> A permanent friend. Uh, where'd he go? I think it's <laughs> Ow. Alright. Operation Kill a Stalker is not going very well. I think, uh, I think we need to move on back to our other objectives. Alright. Uh. I thought coral shell place for something I could gather. Hmm. Could use more fish because we're gonna need the food. Hey, peeper. Oxygen. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Yeah, having that oxygen tank so we can swim further. Uh, Local scans show oh. a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. I didn't mean to eat that, I just wanted to drop it. Wait, what did it say? 90 meters for cave entrance? I think that's too far deep. Let me... Ninety meters. Um... How far down can we get? What is that? Also kinda weird how we're finding so much more metal salvage now. Yeesh. Can't scan the red stuff. Alright. All right, um, let's see how much oxygen. Um, 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 short range all right. scan suggests the spire supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. So okay, complete vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Note to self, uh, 90 meters is a pretty close to our maximum range. 